Hey, it's Randy Burgoyne at impactization.com. One of the most common questions I get is what kind of backup should I have for my computer system? Which backup service should I use? Well, I'm a reseller for one that I like a lot. I've done a lot of research in Mosey, Carbonite, CrashPlan, you name it. And the one I've settled on is called iDrive. Now, iDrive, if you go to impactization.com, I've got it set up as one of our products, our partners and products. So if you go to our website, and well, a lot of times you'll be browsing the website and you might see an ad for iDrive, like right here. So you can click there, or you can always go to partners and products at the top here. Click and then uh, iDrive will be one of the options. I've got iDrive, LastPass, Amazon, do-it-yourself domain names, and so on. But uh, click iDrive, and I'm going to show you how to sign up for iDrive and, and install it. Now I'm going to do it on my computer. I removed it off of this computer. I'm going to put it on just so I can show you how to do it. So if you click the link, it's an affiliate link, so I get a little um, commission on the sale. And essentially, you'll fill in your information here, select which version that you'd like. Now, um, in this case, I'm just going to sign up for the two terabyte, uh, $52 for the first year. And I've already done this, so I'm not going to put in my credit card info. But if you do, put in your credit card info here, uh, expiration date, and it will... Um, allow you to download the iDrive program and I'll show you how how it did that it, it it almost downloaded instantly after I clicked submit on the credit card purchase but the options are this one user unlimited computers so let's say that you have a, a family you have multiple computers at home most of us do most of us have a laptop a desktop uh, a phone a tablet you know, iPad, iPhone, this uh, iDrive can work for all of those devices. And that's what's valuable about this iDrive Personal, two terabytes for $52 a year. Now, it does kick into a annual fee for iDrive. Some of the others do monthly at, you know, five, six, seven, ten dollars $10 a month. But uh, iDrive is annual. And what does that work out to be? A little less than you know, five dollars a, a month equivalent. So it's a good price, it's a good value. Now they do have some uh, specials going on on occasion where you can get some some discounts uh, and that varies so it depends on when you watch this video or are you going to get which, uh, which promotion, right? But uh, if you want to go to business version it's a little more robust. It has a higher level of uh, of support as far as sending drives in to queue your first backup or receiving drives in the mail if you have a large backup because really only about 250 gigabytes is practical to download even if you've got fiber connection so uh, if uh, if you've got a business you'll want to consider the iDrive for business uh, it supports servers it supports uh, SQL servers, databases, accounting software, open file management, network shares. Uh, iDrive Business is very robust for a business environment. Okay, now uh, I, the, the difference is as far as the operation between the, the software is, is minimal. So I'm going to show you how to do the iDrive Personal because that's what I have. I have the two terabyte. I've purchased the $52 a year one. I put in my credit card, proved I'm not a robot, created my account, okay, and then it clicked download, and I saved it to my downloads right here, and I am going to look it up. It's called iDrive. Oh, I download tons of stuff. There it is. iDrive Win Setup. Yes, I want to allow it to make changes. Um, install iDrive on your computer. Close all applications first. Well, 
let's close some of these applications. Click next. Um, end user agreement, the EULA. I read that carefully, can you tell? Yeah. Okay, uh, you can pretty much select the defaults. It'll just go to iDrive Windows folder. It already exists because I just removed it, so yeah. Anyway, when to install it anyway, yes. Well, just takes a few minutes. It's um, it's not a huge program. Very easy to install. And there you go. See, it gave me an icon. Uh, and then there's also, you'll notice an iDrive tray icon down in the bottom that gives you constant status of your backup and restore if you're restoring. So there we go. There it's installed and ready to go. And what is it backing up right now? Um, it looks like it remembered my previous account. So I clicked forget me and I'm going to put in my, my account information again. Username. I made it easy. And password. Shh, don't tell anybody. Remember me, log in. Okay. It is calculating quota. And it um, says I have the five terabyte account. See, it's 5,000 gigabytes, so it's five terabytes. Um, and it automatically picks these folders that I'm going to back up. All right, now I can change those folders if I look at that and I say, well, I want uh, some additional things added to those folders. I can go into, I can click change here and select the files that I want backed up. Now, uh, if I want to, these are the kind of the default library folders that uh, are most likely used for your data. But let's say you've got some software that um, stores the data somewhere else. You'll want to um, select that manually. But in most cases, all the information is going to be backed up by default that you have in your libraries, your data. Okay. Um, including videos. Now I have tons of videos. I have snippets of video that I've taken for impactization. I've got... Um, well, I save a lot of the outtakes on, on this, and I need to delete them and go through, but there's a lot of stuff there that's backed up. Now, I can come in here, if I've got multiple users I want to back up, I can select all users, and then um, make sure that everything, every user that uses this computer is backed up. But I, I don't have other users, it's just me, Rand B. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna, that's the files I'm going to back up. And there's gonna be no limit to what I find here. Now, if you look at videos, I've got 16 gigabytes of videos alone, and that is primarily impactization videos. And that's it. Once it's set up, I can either click back up now or schedule. Now I use the computer a lot, so I don't want necessarily the ad additional load on my computer. So I'm going to pick schedule and I'm going to pick at 12, 12 a.m. I could do 12, 12 and 30 seconds, I guess. And it's going to go to the default backup set and it's going to be every day. Uh, I don't want it to start immediately now, but I guess if I was walking away going to, you know, Quit for the day, I could say, you know, start right now. Save changes. Oh, if you don't want notifications popping up, make sure you uncheck that. There will be notifications that pop up. And then if, you, if that annoys you, you can come back here and uncheck that. And always check, start the missed schedule backup when the back computer is turned on. Now this is a good thing to do, is to set your computer so it never sleeps, especially if it's a desktop computer. 
If it's a laptop computer, set it to never sleep while it's plugged in. And you can put the, the screen to sleep to save some energy. But for backups of critical data, you don't want your computer to sleep. So I'm going to show you that real quick. That's an important thing. So I'm going to save changes, close the backup, and we're going to go into control panel. So again, do the search for control panel. And we're going to go to power options. Change when the computer sleeps. Now I have mine set to never. Sometimes it'll be set for you know 20 or 30 minutes as default, but you want to make sure it's set to never go to sleep. But I have my displays turned to go to one hour and they go to sleep. I could change that to a little bit less if you know you step away and you want the computer, the monitors to go to sleep. That's fine, that's just my preference. Save changes and you're good for the backup. So there you have it. There's how to install iDrive and do a quick initial backup. Very easy to use. And there's some other features of iDrive that I'll cover in another video because there's lots of cool stuff that iDrive can do. So I hope this was helpful. And again, share and like and subscribe whenever you see impactization videos. Thanks for watching.